Programming Ramp and Hold Mode. It is helpful to write down your ramp and hold program into a table format as pictured here. To begin entering your program, press the ramp and hold key. The first piece of data the controller will ask you for is where you want to store the program. You have a choice between 1 and 6. It is a good idea to keep a list nearby of where all your programs are stored. This will help prevent you from overriding existing program. After you have chosen a location for your program, press enter. The next piece of data the controller will ask for is how many segments you want for your program. A segment consists of a rate, a temperature, and a hold time. You may construct a program with up to eight segments. Enter the number of segments you wish and press enter. The controller will now ask you for detailed information for each segment, beginning with rate number one. Input your rate in degrees per hour and press enter. Next you will enter the target temperature for that segment and press enter. The final piece of information you will need for the segment is whether or not you want to hold at that target temperature. If you do not wish a hold, enter all zeros and press enter. Otherwise, enter a value and press enter. Continue by entering all the data for your remaining segments. After the last segment hold has been entered, the controller will flash alarm or ALRM. If you want the alarm to sound at a designated temperature, enter that value now and press enter. If you do not wish to have an alarm, press 9999 and press enter. The display will briefly flash CPL for complete and then return to idle mode. It is a good practice to press review to check all the data you have entered before pressing start to begin your program. After you press start, the display will briefly show on and then will show the internal temperature of the kiln chamber unless a delay start has been programmed, in which case it will begin counting down minutes from the designated delay time.